What's up guys? Um, still winter here. I'm not back on the water, not fishing just yet. So uh, looking around to uh, make a few more videos, I figured I would uh, run down what's in my top water box. Um, so I'm just going to run down the, uh, the baits uh, that I usually reach for. These aren't all my top waters, but this is kind of my, um, kind of my go-to box right here. Um, start with these two on top here. This is the, uh, Evergreen, um, SB. Uh, this was a lure that was, um, it was very popular over in Japan. Um, it was called the Shower Blows, which is kind of, I guess they're kind of describing the, uh, the popping action. Uh, if you can kind of see on the front there, it'll kind of splash out, kind of pop some water, and it's also, as you can tell, a walking bait, kind of fatter at the tail end. Uh, we got um, uh, the smaller size here, the 105, uh, 4, 1 8, 4 and 1 8 inches, and we've got the larger 125, 4 and 7, 4 and 7 8 inches. This is 9 16 ounces, and... 15 16 ounces. I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and say this thing's about an ounce. Um, three trebles on it. Um, these things are awesome. Um, I have been catching all the fish on this one. I haven't gotten the fish the big one yet. I picked it up over the winter. Um, awesome bait. This is actually my backup. I've got the um, um, my primary one tied on right now. Same color though. Um, American Shad is the color. Uh, this one natural gill. Um, I'm not going to go into super detail like this on every lure. I'm going to, you know, the ones that I catch a lot of fish on, I'll probably talk a little bit more about. Um, but this is a lure that it's um, kind of getting a new revival in the States um, with Daiwa um, helping out Evergreen. I don't know what type of deal they have, but they're having a lot of new baits or well baits they had in Japan that will be new for us in the States. Uh, this is one of them. Really, really awesome bait. Really unique because it can pop and it can walk extremely well. Very cool. Uh, let's get into the box here. And we'll just kind of run down some of these. We won't go into super detail. I've got Tackle Warehouse pulled up if I want to look up the stats. I don't think I can memorize all of these here. We'll start up here at the top. Got a Depths Buzz Jet. Uh, we've also got the smaller uh, Buzz Jet. Buzz Jet Jr. These are supposed to work better if you use a snap um, in front of them. I've heard. I don't have one on the big one yet. <clears throat> Everybody knows what that is. Little uh, Super Spook. Little Super Spook Jr. Cool little finish on there. Little kind of shad with a little sparkle kind of to it. Let's see if it's right there. The I'm a skimmer. Connected to a jackal. What is this? A mud sucker? Mud? Mud minnow? Mud? Mud sucker. <laughs> 110. Pretty cool looking one. I haven't got to fish this one very much. Uh, same thing with the skimmer. Haven't really gotten a lot of action with either of those two, but they really look phenomenal. I've just got a lot of top water. We got the Roomba. I'm going to do another video on weight baits coming up here soon. We'll probably revisit that one because the Roomba is pretty cool. I do fish that one. A good amount. Got the Yozuri 3DB popper, which is <laughs> tangled up with two other baits. We got a Gary Yamamoto, a little walker, and a Mega Bass quick walker. I'm not even going to untangle those. I don't to, haven't got to fish those too often. The ones I really fish hard are down here at the other end. I'll spend more, more time talking about those. Um, got a Duo Realis Pencil 110. And this one does get a little action. The smaller one I fish quite a bit. And we've got the this is a Giant Dog X. Giant Dog X. I like that color. There we go. 
This one, I fished this one quite a bit. The smaller duo, the Pixel 85. That one is really cool and it's stuck to the smaller Whopper plopper. And that perch color, which is pretty cool. I got the bigger Whopper plopper. And pull up the stats real quick on the duo pencil just because that is one I do fish quite a bit. If I can, there we go. Pencil 85, three and a half inches, um, one third ounce. That is mirror gill, that color right there. I get the camera in there. And now down here, these last couple rows, I'll spend a little bit more time talking about these because this is really my bread and butter top waters down here. Mega Bass Pop Max. I think it's Threadfin Shad, and we've got a baby bass color behind it. Um, we've got the Duo Popper 64. I've got a ton of these. You guys, <laughs> you guys might recognize this one. This is the one where the hook, the hook of it went through my finger. Um, I caught a bass on it, was taking him off the hook, and he kind of flopped. And the hook went right through my finger. I mean, these hooks are razor sharp. Um, got a little braid still tied on it. This thing, you can see the hook rash iron. This thing gets a lot of action. And then we've got the Pop X, that white python. That is my go-to color it looks cool fish like it look at the <laughs> look at the little feather on that one things seen some action i'm gonna run down the specs on all of these guys here real quick and show you up close let's see here scrolling through tackle warehouse where is it Popper 64, let's start there. Two and a half inches, and they just have it listed as 0.33 ounces. Uh, we've got, uh, I think that's Funky Gill, and we've got Ghost Gill. If you like little poppers and stuff, you have got to get on these things, both the Pop X and the Duo. Um, I've mentioned it before in my other videos. It, it's really tough to pick a favorite. Um, the uh, Popper 64, I think, has just slightly bigger hooks. Both of them have razor sharp hooks. Um, let's search the Pop a little bit more. Those are a quarter ounce. I know that from memory. And they both have awesome colors. The Mega Bass, they have a little more variety in the colors. Super baits, and of course the Pop Max. As I mentioned before, there's the other one I've got. I've got a lot of Pop Maxes I have just for collection purposes. And you know what? Since it's winter time and we're not really doing anything, I might as well just why not? Right? Let's just break a few out. I won't show all of them. Check this out, Balsa Max. These are made out of balsa. A little bit longer than the standard one. Check that out. Secret Bobber, that's the name of that color. Super cool looking bait. I mean, it <laughs> doesn't get any cooler than that. I've got a couple of these just, you know, just for fun. I probably won't ever throw them, just kind of collection purposes. Let's see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, <laughs> run down every single one. I'm going to just show you a quick glance at them while we're on the subject. Here's two with a camo. Kind of look like a German tank from World War II. I mean, they're always doing crazy, crazy colors in the Pop Max. I'll take one last look here. Might be a name all these colors off right here. Look at that. It's fuzzy. It's like a little hamster or something. I mean... <laughs> They just have some crazy, crazy uh, designs and colors on these baits. This will be the last one, I promise. Let's just set these up here. 
the World War II fighter pop maxes. We got the uh, Japanese Zero, and these are the, the uh, shiny ones. The standard ones in this color are super hard to find. Got your Russian plane there, your German. They, they don't have an American one. I'm a little disappointed. I was thinking, you know, a little P-51 Mustang or a P-40 with kind of the shark, the tiger shark mount. That would be pretty cool on their uh, World War II fighter designs. We'll, we'll have to wait on that one, I guess. <clears throat> well, anyway... That's a little recap for you. You know, like I said, these down here at the bottom get the most action. Uh, Popper 64, Pop X, Pop Max, and my new favorite, if I don't put myself, the Evergreen SB. Awesome bait. Uh, but these other ones are good too. I just, um, just don't get to fish them quite as much as the other ones, but they are good baits nonetheless. Um, definitely worthy of a spot in my top water box. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, man, I hope it warms up soon and we'll get back on the water and have some fish videos instead of just, just lure videos. Um, but you guys take it easy and uh, catch some fish.